What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2016 video. Today it's episode 17 in my LFC Let's Play series and we've got two games for you guys today as always. Stoke City away from home who are actually bottom of the Premier League so we should be winning there but it is usually a tough match. And then we've got um, PAOK -okay in the uh, Champions League. I still don't know their actual name. It could be their actual name but that's what I'm calling it anyway. Um, we've got quite a few games to actually recap on. Because we've played quite a few games since the last episode. If you remember in the last episode we played Tottenham and Real Madrid. Which uh, we lost the game against Tottenham quite uh, disappointingly. And then we went and got a draw against Real Madrid away from home. Which I wasn't too disheartened by. I was quite pleased with that. Despite the fact we probably did have the better chances in the game. So go and check that episode out if you've not actually seen it. Um, Southampton we beat 1-0 away from home. You know... It would have been nice to have scored a few more goals, but Southampton St. Mary's, it's a tricky place to go, to be fair, and Southampton were doing quite well in the league at that point. Then we hosted Crystal Palace, we won 1-0. Uh, they had 10 men after just 4 minutes, so it would have been it would have been ideal to score a few more goals. Then we played the team we're going to play today, but in the home match, it was 4-3, but as you can see, we're a very rotated team. I was playing some players like completely out of position I was playing some like youngsters it was really a heavily rotated team and then we failed to break down West Ham we actually got a penalty and missed which um, ended up being quite decisive Yuri Tillemans actually missing a penalty in the 36th minute we did dominate proceedings but we just didn't manage to uh, get the goal we were looking for Um let's see there's something else I wanted to mention and it's this so you take a look at goals conceded we're only on five goals in nine games which is first in the premier league but we've only scored 10 goals which is like the 15th highest and if we're wanting to win the premier league that really needs to be significantly higher i'm quite disappointed with that um so that's really got to be addressed today i've just picked the team without checking that was pretty stupid of me um I'll show you the team. I, I picked it just before I came on camera anyway, but I'll show you it in just a minute. Um, let's just see. Blah, blah, blah. Why have I left Jose Geyer out? I wasn't actually meant to leave him out because I, I was actually meant to pick him. Oh, man, that's stupid. Um, right. So, I've gone with Alberto Moreno and Geyer's not even in the squad, which, yeah, maybe I didn't pick the team properly. I know I put Barboza back in it, but that was literally all I'd done. Oh man, that was stupid of me. Uh, let's just go with that. And that didn't really do anything. So we'll go with a few extra team talks here. Sort of worked. Um, I'll show you the team very quickly. Tactics overview. So we're going with this system again. I wish I picked Gaia, but I completely forgot I didn't. Um, and that's pretty much it, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Barbos has come back up front for Daniel Sturridge. And that's literally... All that is in terms of changes for this team. Corner to ourselves. It's gone into the box. Oh, I thought that was a penalty there, but it's actually Emre Shan that commits the foul. So there is going to be a chance straight after that. We are in possession of the ball with Barboza. He's moving forward. Tillemans. Coutinho with the shot. Oh, it's just wide of the post. I really thought that could have crept in at the near post there. Another chance, and it is coming to ourselves by the look of things. Klein to Mane. Mane goes past two men at once. Really nice play from him. Klein on the ball now. Into Tillemans. Tillemans into Barboza. On the turn. Great save, Stankovic. Really good save there from Stankovic to keep Stoke City in this match. Well, without going behind at least. Corner does come in and nothing comes from him. Chance here potentially to hit Stoke on the break. Here's Shule to uh, Alberto Moreno. Here's Coutinho. Roberto Firmino. Gabriel Barboza. Maybe playing it a bit too slow for my liking, but we are still moving forward. Tillemans through to Sadio Mane. There we go. 1-0. We've taken the lead. We we should be winning. You know, it's you can't really hide from that. This is bottom of the league, Stoke City. Chance here again for ourselves. Really need to take advantage of having this lead and a lot of dominance. Klein into the Stoke box. Onto Sadio Mane and it's 2-0. What a season Mane's having already. He's our top scorer. He's our top assist. He's just playing exceptional. And it's good to see from Sadio Mane. 2-0 just inside 30 minutes. Great to see from the lads. A chance now for Stoke potentially. Here's Shakiri. Driving on our defence. And Juve makes a 2-1. How are we conceding? Oh, it's offside. I was going to go into a massive rant then. But 
even still, it's still annoying to be conceding, you know, or conceding chances at least to a team like this. Another chance, looking like it could go our way. Here's Manny onto Klein. I've actually lost out, but we get it back eventually. Here's Tillemans onto Sadio Mane, who's now on a hat trick. Tries to play into Barbos, it doesn't quite happen for us, and Stoke could hit us on a counter attack here. Bojan moving forward. It's out wide to Shakiri. It looks like a carbon copy of the offside goal that they did score. And wow, it's still getting knocked. Oh my word, how can we not clear that? And how are we conceding to Stoke City, the bottom of the league? Oh my god. If we don't win this game, I will be absolutely furious. And if we don't win it convincingly, I'll be furious. We do have a chance. We are moving forward. So frustrating, though. It's the same stuff every year. Klein. Tillemans. Emre Shan. Mane with the shot. Wide of the mark. Ball out wide to Alberto Moreno. Moreno tries to find Coutinho. Doesn't happen. This is where we're vulnerable. This is where Stoke have scored both of their goals, albeit one was offside. Juve's in the box, and oh my god. Oh, this isn't happening. This can't be happening. Will it oh my... I've literally got no words for this. This is absolutely pathetic. It's so frustrating to watch. We'll go and lose this game, and even if we go and draw, it's still absolutely ridiculous. Even if we win 3-2, I'll still be furious. This is bottom of the league. We are defending champions. And we're just doing nothing this season. Oh, how can you not be hitting the target there, for God's sake? Getting so frustrated with this team already, and it's only like the early parts of the season. Right, so making a couple of changes right here. Uh, I'm going to bring on Daniel Sturridge for Gabriel Barboza up front, and I've brought on Jordan Henderson for... Who brought Henderson on for, I think... Felipe Coutinho? No, Roberto Firmino. Uh, we're switching up to our other system that worked so well for us last season. Uh, hopefully we can just push on and get a goal now against Stoke. It's not ideal, like, chance potentially for ourselves, or is it going to go to Stoke? It's going to go to Stoke. Oh my god, this is absolutely ridiculous. Juve's in behind, onto Bojan, Shakiri. It's going to get into the box, Juve. Oh my god, they've hit the post. Oh, this is, this is really doing me head in. This is infuriating me. How are we not winning against bottom of the league? They have been absolutely sh** all season. I don't even want to say anything over this. Oh my god. Glenn Johnson. Oh my word. We are just getting embarrassed by Stoke City. These guys play rugby, not friggin' football. What's that, Henderson? What is that? You've just hoofed it straight to them. Bearing in mind these are bottom of the league, we're trying to win the match, and you just give them possession. Oh my god, John Henderson seriously had a great season last season. This season he's just been absolutely terrible. That's why I've benched him. It's probably going to end two all. Or is it? Oh my god, Glenn Johnson. Oh my word. There we go, full-time to all, that's an absolute disgrace, that is absolutely shocking. I'm just going to slate the whole f team and I don't even care if they get disheartened by this. They were shit. Not even shit. I don't, I, literally at this moment in time, I do not care, they were absolutely horrendous. They were, they were shocking. I'm not even going to attend that press conference, that was just... That's the worst I've seen as collapse in a match. I'm absolutely furious with that. They were bottom of the league. Who else have they took points off? Sunderland and Aston Villa. The team's in and around them. And they've just took points off us. What on earth is that? Okay, so we are moving into the game in the Champions League. Uh, I've gone back to the old skin. I felt like the other one was a bit uh, like it had a bit of lag and it was a bit glitchy. So I've gone back to the old skin and... I've gone with quite a heavily rotated team, as you'll be able to see right there. That's the team we're going to go with. It's I think it's literally every single player has been rotated. We're welcoming back Jose Gaia. Uh, I'm probably only going to play him for like 30 minutes, so I need to put Moreno on the bench, actually. That would help out. And yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to go with. Let's, uh, let's bounce back from that game against Stoke City, which I'm still quite fuming about. Hopefully I get the three points in this one, which will maybe secure us the knockout rounds. I'll take a quick look in a minute. I'm not too sure because obviously actually yes, yeah, so we can potentially so I'll say that to them.
get them a bit motivated and I'll start the match. I'll take a look at the league table whilst we are here. So if we win today and Real Madrid don't beat Napoli, I think that's how it works, then we may go through. So it, it'll be interesting to see. Chance for the opposition, which uh, isn't great to see. I can't be bothered getting beat by underdogs two games in a row in this episode as they are trying to get in on goal, but it's an easy save in the end for Leno as he does distribute the ball to Gaia. Not too sure if that was really a chance. Apparently it was, so we'll have to go with that. Chance for ourselves now. Here's Mamadou Sacco, quite high up the pitch. Adam Lallana, Marco Grujic playing with like two centre mids today in Henson and Grujic because that's the best available and Grujic has hit the bar. Oh my word, could have taken the lead after just 20 minutes. A lot of early possession for us, but not many chances. We have hit the bar. That shot off target was the shot that hit the bar. Because when you hit the bar, apparently it's off target. As Sturridge moving forward now for ourselves. Goes past his man, goes past another and gets the shot in. But again, it's, it's an off target shot. We need to be hitting the target. Really, to be testing this goalkeeper. Chance for ourselves from a corner. It is cleared. Sturridge gets it back to Henderson. John Henderson goes past his man. Still going and it is a penalty. Now we've had a really poor record from penalties this season. I think we've probably taken about four and missed like three. We may have missed all four to be perfectly honest with you. I can't actually remember a score in a penalty this season. Let me know in the comments if you do remember a score in a penalty this season. But I really can't. And we've missed another penalty. Are we having a laugh? I hope we don't get in any penalty shootouts this season. We've already been in one against Wofford and we've lost that. Oh my god, how are we not scoring a single penalty this season? That's It's a huge chance to take the lead as well. It's the most clear-cut chance you're going to get. As we are in the box and Origi, oh my word, that was so close from going in. Chance for the opposition, unless we regain possession. Not too sure if we will though. We've got a big game against Man United at the weekend, which is why I have heavily rotated... Thought the ball was going to get in. It is now. Oh, my God. Seriously, this is absolutely ridiculous, this episode. Man, oh, man. We are trying to get forward once again. Here's Daniel Sturridge. I feel really let down by our strikers this season. Barbosa's on, like, a 10 game without scoring. Sturridge doesn't score. Origi doesn't really score. It's a difficult situation to be in. I may have to go and buy a striker in January. I'm really regretting not buying Paolo Dybala in the summer. That could cost me the league title, to be perfectly honest. And it could cost us this game. It's been really, really poor. We're going to regret missing that penalty, you can tell already. As Sturridge does move forward. He's not really got anyone in support, which is disappointing. Lalana eventually gets there. As we go all the way back to the centre-backs, come on. I'd be surprised if these are even professional footballers. I don't want to be sly, but I would really be surprised. These could genuinely be like, you know, one of these teams where they have part-time jobs. And this is Liverpool. This is a strong team. It's a rotated team, but it's still a strong team. And we're failing to actually put a goal past them. We've hit the bloody post or we've got the pen and save. I can't even remember what happens with the penalty. Going to consider making a change in a minute. This is really poor, really embarrassing, to be fair. To be, you know... I don't even. I can't even put this into words. This episode, we were two 0 up away from Stoke, looking comfortable, bottom of the league. You would, you, you know, you'd expect us to go on three, four 0 something like that. Go and draw two all, and now we're losing to some Greek footballers that I've never even heard of. One 0 the bottom of our Champions League group. I don't even know if they've got a point. Let's see if they've actually got a point. No, this will be their first point in the entire Champions League. That shows you how poor we've been as we do start to move forward with Daniel Sturridge. I'm just going to go to attacking. Sturridge still going. No one really supporting him. He gets the ball into the box. John Henson, but it's right at the keeper. Maybe one last chance right now. We're in their box. One minute of normal time to go. Connor Randall, poor pass. Oh my God. I've played Jose Gaia for the full match. It's something I've just realised, but... Not too bad, he'll probably be fine for United, and if not, we can always play Moreno. I don't think it's going to make much difference. We're playing shocking at the minute. Really not looking forward to that game against United right now. And if they can go and get a second just to humiliate us, no, it's not going to happen for them. There is three minutes of added time. So there is another chance straight off the back of this. Lovren, I thought he was going to get sent off then. And there is a ball around the back. Divock Origi's in. Thank God we have scored. Come on. 
Not happy with the draw, but it's better than not winning. I'm going to go overload. If we go and concede now, then I'll probably regret that. But I really, really just want to maybe nick a victory. It'll be the most undeserved victory ever. But come on, it's possible. Still two minutes to go and there is apparently a highlight coming. And it looks like it could be to them. They are troubling us, but we do break. We've got the ball. Here's Tillemans. Tries to send it long. Origi's actually got him behind here. Divock Origi gets the ball in. Sturridge doesn't quite meet it. Connor Randall getting forward. Sadio Mane's offside. How's that a chance? You get me hopes up there, and there's not even a chance from that. As the Greek lads are moving forward, Adam Lallana fails to get the ball. A lot of room on that right-hand side for them. They've made a nice little one-two. They're in our box. Oh, my God. No way. There's actually no way. This is the biggest joke of an episode I have ever witnessed. Oh my god, it's actually quite laughable. This is horrendous what I'm seeing right now and we've got to go to Manchester United away from home on the weekend. As if we're getting anything from that. We may not even qualify for the Champions League uh, knockouts because we've got Napoli away from home which is obviously going to be a really difficult game and then we've got Real Madrid at home which I'll be surprised if we even manage to win. I really don't know what to say now. We are in some serious crisis, but that is all for this video. If you've enjoyed watching me fail and just get frustrated, drop a like on the video. Uh, be sure to comment down below. Let me know how you think I'll do in the next episode against Man United and Napoli with West Brom sandwiched in the middle, which I'll play offline. But we've got a, an away match to Man United followed by an away match to West Brom followed by an away match to Napoli. Oh my god, this little run of fixtures is ridiculous. Away to United, away... Actually, look at this. We've got five away games in a row. I didn't even notice that. Stoke away, this team away. Man United away, West Brom away, Napoli away. Then you've got Everton at home, which is going to be tough. Followed by Real Madrid at home. This run of fixtures is horrible. And we've not started them very well either. But as I said, drop a like on the video, comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I can't even speak. I'm that frustrated with this match. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, thank you all for watching. Until next time, goodbye.